yes good morning good morning to all of you actually uh, this is the morning this is not evening actually why because we are starting the new era and we are starting the new era of learning the new things and we move towards we are moving from the electronics to embedded by learning this embedded system okay so in this uh, webinar first we are going to explore what do by embedded system we'll just explore it what are the different applications what are the what we can use in the embedded system what are the components of the embedded system and then after that we will move towards uh, one of the platform one of the platform talking about one of the platform which is open source and which is very trending that will help to do our project or any idea implementation in a very quick in a very quickly and that platform is nothing but the arduino okay so that we are going to explore today and after exploring that uh, this is not only just theory okay this is not just a theory session we are going to explore some practical things also i'm going to teach you one platform in which you can do or practice on this arduino platform by yourself also so that we are learning and then after that a very one good surprise i am having with me and that is nothing but i have one very innovative project actually that project i have been implemented today only i'm going to explore that project afterwards okay so i'm not going to explore today okay so it is very interesting okay it is uh, just uh, one thing to remember one thing to point out about that project is that project is regarding that project is regarding to the computer vision okay that project is regarding the computer vision and the arduino how to communicate with the arduino and the computer vision okay so computer is communicating with the your computer is communicating with the arduino and it is giving some different commands okay uh, what is that project how it is been implemented i have implemented that i am going to explore afterwards okay so let's start with the today's session i am going to share my screen that is the first we'll have the some theory points always because without theory okay without theory uh, if you directly start with the practicals actually there is no base has been created so we have to first create we have to cre we have to first create a concrete base we have to create a concrete base by using by using the <clears throat> one minute okay so those actually uh, who are anon uh, making the annotation actually they have to clear the annotation because i'm going to share the ppts for you and this is this webinar is for you only okay so that's why any disturbance i am not tolerating so whatever who has created this particular things uh, they have to clear that annotation okay okay so we'll start so let me check your chat window if you in case of uh, any point or in case of any slide if you have any question you can post your question on your chat box okay so i will definitely answer your question and also uh, make a note just you have to prepare your notes whatever i am telling to you you have to make a notes and after that if you have any question in between you can write down your question and after the session actually you can ask me or meanwhile session if you have the question also but that question should be related to our this topic okay this is not uh, it is not uh, like that uh, this is the topic of arduino and you are asking about the mechanical parts okay so it should be the topic related questions only okay so i'm going to present this ppt <clears throat> okay 
So the topic is the uh, introduction of the embedded system platform, Arduino. There are lots of platform available. Okay. So one of the platform that we are going to explore today, that is the Arduino and what are its application. Myself, Ganesh Attarde, I'm the founder and CEO of GB Softronic Solution. And we are working with the uh, Electronic Study Center and the BM Electronics Nasik. Okay. So this uh, webinar has been organized by the Electronic Study Center. Uh, now first, and very important point and very important question is the what is an embedded system because many of you there are total 160 participants and out of the 160 participants many of you can have the different different branch like some of you are having the branch as a electronics some of you having the branch as a electrical or computer or even mechanical students also is joining this webinar okay so if you don't know, if you don't know embedded system, or if you are very beginner in this particular embedded system, then I'm going to teach you or explore you. What do you mean by embedded? What do you mean by embedded? Okay. So what is an embedded? What is an embedded? It is a combination of the computer hardware. It is a very simplest definition I have found on the internet. Very simple. Actually, if you go to the internet and if you search for the definition of embedded system, there are the very big definitions are also available. But this is the smallest and very meaningful definition I have found. Okay. And that I've taken from the Wikipedia. It is a combination of the computer hardware and the software. Okay. So we can think that it is a combination of hardware and the software. It means that here for embedded system, we require the electronics as well as we require the program, which will operate that particular electronics and that electronics should be some digital electronics. I'm talking about digital electronics. In case of analog electronics, we can use the ADC analog to digital converter and that analog data we can also get into the digital format also. So what do my computer hardware? So computer hardware is the thing that we can program that we can program and software is nothing but the program that you are writing. Okay. The program can be written in a different, different languages like C. C++, Java, or even a Python. But there are lots of languages available. Now, without writing the software or without writing the program, actually, that is your text text program. I'm talking about the text program. Okay. So like wide main, okay, printf. Okay. So without writing that particular lines, nowadays, you can also design your project. There is one language called the block programming, block programming. Using that block programming, you can also design your logic just like you that Lego block and just implement your logic using that blocks. And now your program is ready. You don't have to write. You don't have to type your program. You are making your program by joining some blocks. So that is also the program, but that is a GUI program, graphical program. That is a block programming. So what is an embedded system? Very simple definition. It is a combination of computer hardware and software. You can note down this also. Okay. It is a combination of computer hardware and software, which is designed to perform a specific. Now this second line is very, very much important regarding to the embedded system. Now, if I remove the second line, if I remove the second line, then the first line is not a part of the embedded system. The second line makes that system as embedded. Now, what is it? It is a combination of computer hardware and software. You have written a program for a computer hardware, but for what you have written a program? You have written a program which is performing a dedicated task, which is performing a specific task only. If your, if your program is performing a specific task, then you can say that that program you have write for the embedded system getting that so and that program is an embedded program okay so if your program is performing a single task dedicated task specific task then that is your embedded program so if you if you have the embedded if you have the computer hardware if you have the software and if 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 that particular product is performing a particular task only it is not going to upgrade to anyone 
any other task so for example one of the very great example of the embedded product is the camera digital camera from which you can see me or you from which you can able to see my computer screen <coughs> so this compute uh, this uh, web camera so using this web camera we can only able to see who is in front of them who is in front of that camera so that is a dedicated task that is a dedicated what so what what in front of it it is get captured and is get converted into the digital format so that is the only task assigned to the embedded uh, assigned to that web camera so that's why we can say that that's why we can say that your web camera is the embedded system product using the web camera you cannot get the print out you can get a print out but you can get a print out by using the printer but using the printer you cannot get a who is in front of that printer okay so printer is not able to tell you that is who is in front of or we is not able to take a picture of you so printer is the dedicated printer is having the dedicated dedicated task for printing your what we print your print outs getting that so printer is also the one of the embedded product getting that so this is the definition simplest definition just mark it out it is a combination of computer hardware and software which is designed to perform a specific task yes that's it okay now what do you mean by computer hardware can anybody tell me what do you mean by computer hardware yes you can write down your answer in chat box because lots of the participants are there so you can write down what do you by computer hardware okay so if i'm talking about computer hardware which means that that hardware is used in a computers okay so what do you mean by computer hardware yes tell me things that we can touch okay things that we can so it is a real things okay processor ram rom hard disk yes rutraj yes yogesh dore says mouse and keyboard yes computer hardware mouse and keyboards pranali says printer cpu yes input simple input devices yes keyboards physical parts of the computer okay so i'm looking towards one very specific answer external component ssd yes that's also the computer hardware ssd or simply that are called as the memory devices a keyboard mouse uh, that printer that are called as a peripheral device external devices but what do you mean by computer hardware yes i'm really talk about the computer hardware that we can program where we are storing our program yes what is it what is it computer hardware so computer hardware means yes anyone it is which processes our data which process our data yes tell me yes rohini correct who process the data micro processor and the microcontroller yes so micro processor and the microcontroller these are the things who can process our data so whatever the data we have that data we can process by using the by using the uh, mic uh, that we uh, using the microprocessor and microcontroller so that all different peripherals has been attached to the hardware attached to the uh, microprocessor and microcontroller like printer has been attached through the usb your keyboard has been attached your mouse has been attached now whatever the inputs i am giving that input is provided to the microprocessor and microprocessor will processes it like if i am moving this the arrow is moving here okay so who is processing this task the microprocessor is processing the task okay so computer hardware is nothing but the microprocessor and the micro controllers yes sik naima says 8085 and 8051 yes these are the very basics microcontroller and the microprocessor that we are generally study in the academics okay so what is computer hardware so if you are talking about computer hardware you are talking about the the thing that you can program that you can program okay so what things you can program you can write a program in a microprocessor or in a microcontrollers okay now what is the difference between microprocessor what is the different microcontrollers we are going to explore that also okay when to use microprocessor when to use microcontroller that also we are going to explore okay so next is next question is what is software yes what is software the software is the your program 
that has been written by the user that has been written by the user for example if you want to take the user input from the button okay it's from the keyboard and according to that button if you want to print that particular character for example if the button says a capital a then if i'm printing that capital a button the capital a should be printed capital a should be printed getting that so these are the these these things we have to write in our microprocessor these are the instruction that we have to give to the microprocessor and the controllers so what is software software will take the inputs it process the input after processing the input it generates the output very simple so what is software software is the yes chirag says software is the set of instruction which is controlling the hardware very correct it is a set of instruction which controls the hardware in our computer what is the software that we are using and that is called as a operating system we are using the operating without operating system you cannot able to use your computer or your laptop so your computer must have the operating system should be installed sometimes if the operating system get crash then you are not able to use your laptop getting that so that's why the software is must if you are if your hardware if you have only hardware and if you don't have software then there is no meaning getting that so we, with the help with using this hardware we can have the software also we can have the software ready also so only having the hardware is not important hardware with the software makes your intelligent system getting that so computer hardware represent microprocessor microcontroller software represent your program very simple so we will move towards the next slide now what are the examples can you give me the examples of the embedded system we have seen the definition as a it is a combination of hardware and software which is designed to perform a specific task okay तो मुझे क्या करना है मुझे एक ऐसा कुछ चीज चाहिए मुझे ऐसा कोई एग्जांपल चाहिए कि उसमें क्या हार्डवेयर भी होना चाहिए सॉफ्टवेयर भी होना चाहिए और उसने क्या एक सिंगल टास्क करना चाहिए जो उसको दिया है ना वही टास्क करना चाहिए दैट शुड नॉट बी परफॉर्म अ डिफरेंट टास्क दैट द टास्क दैट इज नॉट असाइन टू दैट दैट पर्टिकुलर डिवाइस सो कैन एनी बडी टेल मी वॉट इज द एग्जाम्पल्स यस इज लॉट्स ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आई एम रिसीविंग रोहिणी से प्रिंटर यस printer web camera these examples have given washing machine vedangi says washing machine automatic washing machine gps digital camera mobiles so you can see this lots of examples yes so security camera your mp3 players your laptops your robot computers washing machine even your tv remote tv remote is also the example of the embedded system robots your printers scanners fingerprint sensor video games microwave ovens speakers video game console your telephones your mobiles your toys electronic toys that are the very good examples digital yes now if you list out that examples na so actually there uh, is more than thousands more than thousands examples you can write just look at your uh, look at your uh, home at least 10 elect, uh, embedded system products is available in your uh, home also right now like take the example of android tv yes android tv embedded system product the the wifi router the wifi router that is also embedded products your uh, automation some automation if you have done like uh, suppose if uh, there alexa alexa is there do you know alexa or the google assistant that that product okay that is also the embedded product digital watch yes fitness trackers dvd players lots of your mouse keyboards some converters okay hdmi to usb usb to hdmi converter that's all are the examples of the embedded product now you can think you can think about 
what are the different career opportunities present in this system and now these are not the only product available day by day the new products is come into the market and that products are depends on your creativity whatever the creativity you have if you are implementing that then that becomes the product and now you can sell it out as a consumer electronics and you can start your own companies also if you have the very innovative products like you know when the corona strikes actually all the businesses get stop all businesses got stop so our sister company bm electronics all the products has been stop so they have develop a new innovative products actually they have not only develops the major most top the companies electronics company i developed that product and what is that product that product is the automatic hand sanitizer machine yes gayatri automatic hand sanitizer machine so if you are if you place the hand in front of that sanitizer machine automatically that sanitizer will spread out getting that so that so that a product is not available earlier that is the innovative innovation after the corona so more majorly the need the invention means need for the new invention you require the needs if you have the needs you have the invention yes and they have make a very good profit out of that sanitizer machine getting that okay so if you have a, if you you can think if you can think then you can develop a products now how to develop yes i'm there i can teach you how to develop that products how to interface the different external devices how to operate it how to do a programming how that programming is easy i'm going to tell you okay so that's are the example things now we are talking about the we're talking about the computer hardware so in that computer hardware we have talk about the microprocessor and microcontrollers now first i will be distinguish i will be distinguishing this microprocessor and microcontroller what to be used if you are designing a project then what should be used microprocessor or microcontroller that is the very first question should be asked by every innovator yes what should be is microprocessor or microcontroller now it doesn't means that a embedded system is only having the microcontrollers you can have the embedded system product with the microprocessor also but when to use microprocessor you can use the microprocessor only when if you require the very high speed if you require very high speed and if you want to achieve some multitasking why we require the high speed because we have to execute more than one task at a time multitasking we have to achieve then we have to use microprocessor yes so for very big applications actually we can use microprocessor but some small products if you want to develop where we don't require so much speed because when the speed actually if you compare the with the speed and the cost if the speed is increased the cost is increases but you have to sell that products also so if you want to sell that products your cost should be less for that product your cost should be less so for that purpose if you want a moderate speed and your cost should be low then you have to think about the microcontrollers but suppose for general for general implementation of your project if you are using microprocessor only because it is a faster then what happen now microprocessor is only having the cpu central processing unit it can only processes the data it not storing the data it is only processing the data whatever the data you have to process you have to just fed to that alu arithmetic logical unit and your cpu will execute it yes so microprocessor is only having the cpu inside it so where to store our program we have to store our program to the external memory and that is called as a rom memory read only memory so if you want to design your project 
using the microprocessor only because you require the high speed you have to purchase the microprocessor chip as well as you have to purchase the read only memory chip rom chip so separate memory chip you require separate random access memory your ram chip you require so what is the use of ram and rom rom is generally used to store our program whatever we are writing our program it is get converted into the hex code and that hex code we are providing or we are storing into the rom memory but when your program is running some temporary variables get generated and where to store that temporary variables we are storing that temporary variables in a read a random access memory getting that so rom is very important when you at the time you are storing your program ram is very important when you are running your program if your computer is not having the ram if your computer is not having the ram your computer not even boot it is not booting the booting process will not start because whatever the store it gets stored into the rom memory it be it get first bring to the ram memory uh, for the process and then because ram memory is faster rom memory is slower ram memory is faster so if you want to develop a project using a microprocessor you require how many chips how many ic's first ic is cpu like your microprocessor second ic you require rom memory third ic you require ram memory yes that's it no you require the fourth ic also and what is that fourth ic fourth ic is regarding to the input output ports because we have to connect some sensors and actuators we have to connect the sensors and actuators to the microprocessor also yes so if you want to connect the sensors and actuators to the microprocessor then the io ports your project should have the io ports getting that so you have to purchase the four ic's timer in some cases we require the timers to generate the delay and some serial port for the serial communication so if you have this five six ic if you have the six ic total for implementation only you require the six ic's should be you six ic should be implemented in your pcb printer circuit board so what is the size what is the size what is the size of your project only to run your program that is that big one okay in case of microprocessor what is the advantage the advantage is faster speed disadvantage more costing costing is more because you have to purchase the six ic's getting that what is the next disadvantage you for implementation you require the large space space is again large one getting there so six ic's we have to implement okay but instead of that if you are using the microcontroller so what the microcontroller includes microcontroller is nothing but but only single ic only single ic which includes sir, yes sir can you uh, explain again a ram or rom yes 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 i can explain yes abet kurishi okay okay so i'm talking about ram and rom so okay. your microprocessor is pro executing your instruction but where from you get that instruction your program has to be stored somewhere so where you are storing your program you have to store your program in a rom memory okay so what is your rom memory contains your rom memory contains your program that you are writing in your computer and you are transferring that program as a hex file in your rom memory getting that so rom memory contains your programs okay now what is ram memory contains the ram memory contains the temporary variables generated while doing some calculation like suppose addition if you want to do addition then the result is the temporary variables getting that so ram stored that particular result okay so ram is must for running your program and rom is must to store your program because that program has to be stored as a permanently that has to be program stored as a permanently so rom is a permanent memory but whatever your data get generated that is a temporary so that's why ram is a temporary type of the memory 
Okay, so ROM is called as a non-holatile type of the memory. RAM is called as a holatile type of the memory. So once you remove the power supply, whatever the contents of the RAM get vanished. But if you remove the power supply, the ROM is permanent memory. So whatever the program you have written, it is not get erased. Getting that? So RAM and ROM, both memory is very important regarding to running and storing your program. Okay, so if you are using microprocessor, you have to purchase the six IC total. So if you are purchasing the six ICs, space get more, costing more. But the, what is the advantage? The speed is the only one advantage. But for your project, moderate speed is also works. Then instead of using microprocessor to reduce the cost, to reduce the speed, to reduce the space, we can use microcontroller. So what the microcontroller contains? The microcontroller contains, microcontroller contains CPU. Inside it, RAM, yes, inside it, ROM, inside it, IO ports, inside it, timers also inside, serial component is also inside. So all these things that is required to run your program that has been embedded in a one IC, only one IC contains all these things. Okay, so if you purchase a one IC, that IC contains CPU, that IC contains RAM, that IC contains ROM, that IC even contains IO ports, timers also it contains and it also support the serial COM ports. Now modern microcontroller is having the more advantage than these six only. It is having the ADC, this is having the DAC, some PWM capability, more things has been added in an advanced microcontroller. So which you will prefer, microprocessor or microcontroller? It's okay if your computer, if your if your product is only performing a single task, microcontroller is the good choice. If your computer or if your embedded product is performing a multitasking, then the microprocessor is the best choice. Are you getting that? Yes, just. Uh, yes. Sir. Yes, just type yes. Agar aapko samaj mein aagaye, microprocessor, microcontroller ka difference, which has to be used. Then just type yes in the chat box so that I can move toward the next slide. Okay, so it doesn't mean that you should not use microprocessor. In some cases, instead of using microcontroller, we have to use microprocessor because there is, we require the speed. Now, can anybody tell me, can anybody tell me where we can use the microprocessor, where we have to use micro. But actually, generally, uh, in a today's micro, if you compare this microcontroller and microprocessor in today's advanced yes. microcontroller, it is having the more speed than microprocessor. Some advanced microcontroller like ARM 9 or ARM 11 microcontrollers are there. That microcontroller is having the speed in terms of the gigahertz. Okay, so that's why. Now the microprocessor and microcontroller speed is now same, speed is now same. But in some cases, the microprocessor is always having the greater speed. So in a real time application, if you require some real time application, then we have to process it and also we have to actuate also at the same time. Then we can use the microprocessor there. Yes, so that is the main thing where we can use the microprocessor and the microcontroller. Yes, so we have some list of the microcontroller in this next slide. The first one and very important, and I think this it you should it is included in your academics also, and that is the eight zero five one, very famous microcontroller, very famous microcontroller. Okay, so. Is in a one question, uh, 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 Bidna Patil process and actuate. Okay, so actually, I'm talking sensors and actuator. Okay, sensors and the actuator. So, I will talk about the sensor and actuator later. The sensors is the input device, actuator is the output device. Okay, so there is a separate slide. So, I will talking about the sensor and actuators later. Okay, so we'll focus on the list of microcontrollers now. So, very first and very famous. Microcontroller is the 8051. It is an 8-bit microcontroller. 8-bit microcontroller. Now, if you want to program the 8051 microcontroller, you have to first study its internal architecture. What is the internal architecture? How many, what is the data bus? What is the address bus? 
then what are the internal registers are there cpu how many cpu registers then you have to learn the assembly language even you can do the programming of 8051 in c language also that is called the embedded c okay so in c language also you can do but even you are using the c language you have you must know the internals of the 8051 for doing a programming of 8051 okay so that makes so if you want to make your first program of 8051 actually you require at least eight days at least eight days to write your first 801 program because you have to study first theory then after that you can do a programming next one same for the peak microcontroller you can say that it is a plus one towards the 8051 like 8051 is 8 bit peak microcontroller is a 16 bit microcontroller now in peak microcontroller 16 bit means now what in the 8 bit and 16 bits here 8 bit means it can process 8 bit data at a time its cpu size or its alu size is the 8 bit it can process 8 bit data at a time peak can process 16 bit data at a time 16 bit data at a time so you can think about Peak is the faster than 805. Peak microcontroller is faster than 805. Are you getting that? So, very simple. If you want to, very simple application, just like uh, if you want to develop the hand sanitizer machine. Okay, so then we can use the 8051 there. Okay, but if you want the more uh, specific, like uh, if you want to uh, implement the I2C protocol, SPI protocol, then we can think about the peak or arm microcontroller because there is the advanced microcontroller so it depending on depending on your project actually what microcontroller you are going to use now if the advancement if you the, if you are taking this 16 bit or 32 bit microcontrollers then the complexity get increases complexity of the peak get increases arm microcontroller again the complexity get increases because here the one data is of service 16 bit here the one data is of service 32 bit okay so whatever what speed do you require that that depending on that you are going to you are going to select the 51 peak or a microcontroller now these three microcontroller in, in industry we can use but the fourth microcontroller that has been generally used for prototype development and that is the at mega microcontroller so for prototype development, these products is very, very much famous. Now in Atmega microcontroller, there are the different variant like in Atmega, there are 8-bit also, 16-bit also and 32-bit microcontroller also. And again, it's the uh, size is also not fixed like its IO ports is not fixed. You can have the Atmega microcontroller is only having the two IOs only four ios only eight ios only 16 ios okay so depending on that depending on that actually you are selecting that suppose in your project you require only two ios okay io means input output ports input output lines so why to waste our money by purchasing the ic which is having the th uh, 32 input outputs out of 32 input outputs, I'm only, I'm going to use only two. So 30s are going to waste there. So instead of that, to reduce the price of my product, I'm purchasing the one IC, which is only having the two IO ports, IO lines. Are you getting that? Okay. So at Mega, actually it is a series of microcontroller, which has been, which has been uh, developed by the Atmel, which has been developed by the company called as a atmel so it is a atmel series microcontroller at mega microcontroller the manufacturer is the atmel atmel is the manufacturers okay so if you want to uh, take a uh, more in uh, information regarding to this microcontroller then you can visit just take a snapshot of it and just you can type this link on in a google and you can read out the list of the common microcontroller use i have listed out only four 
famous microcontroller. This is not the only list. If you are go, going to list out the microcontroller, actually there are the hundreds of the microcontrollers available in the market. Hundreds of even the academics no don't know the name of that microcontroller. That microcontroller are even and some specific design microcontroller also there. For example, for my product, I don't want to use H zero five one or Peak or ARM. I want my specially designed software, of specially designed hardware. So I want uh, the my IC should be of size uh, eight eight pin only, eight pin only. Okay, eight pin IC I have to design, and in that I require only three I/O ports. So I will be contacting to Atmel, and I am requesting that I require the ten thousand ICs of having this particular specification. If they are ready, they can develop my customized IC also. Okay, but that the ICs are called as the OTP ICs. Okay, one time programmable. Once you upload the program inside that, it is fixed. You cannot even change it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, where these chips are made in India? Actually, the chips are not made. Okay, so all chips are uh, made in uh, China or Japan or even Finland. Okay, so in India, actually, IC manufacturing is not there. Even this digital microcontroller IC manufacturing is not there. India is having its own microcontroller, but that is a very simple basic microcontroller has been introduced by the CDAC. Okay, CDAC has recently introduced that, but uh, I uh, I am not using that because that is not so much popular. Okay, now we will move towards our main topic, and that is the Arduino. Okay, that is Arduino. So why we are learning Arduino? What is Arduino? Why we are learning this? Because why we're not learning 8051 peak and ARM microcontroller? Because 8051 and peak or ARM microcontroller, if you want to do a programming, firstly you have to study its architecture. So architecture study is very much important, but not related to the Arduino. So what is Arduino? Arduino is a platform actually. It is not a microcontroller. Arduino is not a microcontroller. I have not given here. The Arduino here, okay. In a list of micro, I have not given the name as Arduino. Arduino is not a microcontroller. Arduino is a platform where we can do a programming of the microcontroller. Yes. So Arduino is a platform. It is a platform. It is a software using which. We can do a programming of a different different microcontrollers. Even peak microcontroller, we can also program using the Arduino. Peak microcontroller, even ARM microcontroller, so we can program using the Arduino. So what is Arduino? Arduino is a platform. It is not a microcontroller. So most of the students are thinking that Arduino is a microcontroller. Which are uh, microcontroller you have used in your projects or Arduino? So Arduino is not used. You have used the one of the microcontroller which support the Arduino platform, and that is the At Mega series microcontroller, At Mega three two eight P. Getting that? So Arduino is an open source prototyping platform. Yes, it is specifically it is given that it is not generally used for the product purpose. Arduino, it is not using for the product purpose. It is used for the prototyping platform. Now, what do my prototyping? What do my proto? Yes, can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me? Yes, Rat Raj Ratna Tide. Yes, it's Shakti. Its name is Shakti. Okay. Yes, can anybody tell me what do my prototype? What do my prototype? Yes, open source, you know, yeah. Open source means its source code is open. Its code is open. Its program is open. You can download your pro in that you can download the program of Arduino. You can edit that program. That is called the open source. Okay, and it is free. Yeah, it is open means source code is available means it is free. Okay, and what is prototype? So prototype is the first working model. Yes, now yeah, you can make a note in your notebook. Prototype is the first working product or first working model of your project, which is having the all the capabilities that all the capabilities that your pro project should be having. 
So if, if you're thinking that my project should be hand sanitizer machine. So if you have placed the hand in front of that, it should be automatically spray. Okay. So if you are developing the first working model, then that is called the prototyping. It doesn't mean that that prototyping, that prototyping product you can directly sell. It is only the working model. It is a working model. It doesn't having the look and feel of the final product. It, it's working. We, if you want to only check, then we can use the Arduino for that model. Okay. In some cases we can use, we can use the, we can use the Arduino for the final product also, but major times Arduino has been replaced by the different microcontroller when, because of the price issues, because of the price issues, actually, because uh, there is a uh, lots of the microcontroller, which can, you can get even in you know, a 20 rupees only. Okay. So that's why. Uh, the most of times uh, only for uh, testing purpose, for prototyping purpose, for making the first working model, generally the Arduino has been used. Okay. Suppose uh, you have some idea, if you have the idea and if you want to test it out, that idea, it is working or not. Or if I'm implementing that idea and if I'm presenting to the customer, what is the feedback of the customer? Okay. You require the feedbacks only. Okay. So that's why you're not wasting the all your money to develop your fully finished product because to develop a fully finished product, actually the crores of rupees is required and to develop a product first working model using the product, you require only thousands of rupees getting that. So Arduino is a very best suitable. If you want to implement the first working prototype model of your project. Okay. So Arduino is an open source prototyping platform in electronics based on the easy to use hardware and software. They have made their own languages. Okay. They have made the own language. Actually the in background, the language is the C++. The background, background is a C++ language. All the syntax are the C++ based, but front end is not C++. Front end is the Arduino language. Okay. Back end is the C++ language. Okay. But they have made the language such that you don't have to implement the complex things. Majorly complex thing has been already been implemented and you can also contribute into it because it is open source. Suppose you think that this product, if you want to interface this particular sensor actuator, this impl implementation is very much hard. Now, if everyone is trying this implementation, they are wasting the time. So what you are doing, you are sharing your code to the world. So you are contributing toward the open source and anyone who required to interface that actuator, they are downloading that particular code and they can directly use it. Okay. So it's open source. And it is a very easy to use platform. Most of the libraries are available in Arduino. Most of the libraries. And you can even contribute it. GitHub. GitHub website. In that GitHub website, you can create your repository. And whenever, if you want to give to others, you can just give the name of your repository. And by using that repository, by using that repository, you can use that or you can download that program and you can use it as it is. Okay. So it is easy to use hardware and software. Second definition is Arduino is a microcontroller based prototyping board, which can be used in developing digital devices. Yeah. Now this is very important. Huh? This is a technical definition, which is used in a developing digital devices that can read inputs from the digital as well as analog sensor, which can further use to take action to operate the actuator. Now I will be answering that question. What is sensors and actuator? Now sensors is the thing from which we can get the data. Like suppose they, if you want to sense the temperature, so we require temperature sensor. If you want to sense the pressure, we require pressure sensor. If you want to read your fingerprint, then we require fingerprint sensor. If you want to read the, uh, what is the current light? So we require light sensor, LDR. So some sensors are the digital, some sensors are the analog. Now what do you mean by digital and analog? Yes. If your sensor is giving the data in terms of zero and one, then that is a digital sensor. If your sensor is giving the data in terms of analog, like zero to five volt or any analog voltage, 
then that is called as a analog sensors getting that so sensor from sensors we are getting data so it is a input sensor is a input okay sensor is a input input to the microcontroller okay now by using the sensor data if you want to take some action if you want to take some action for example suppose i want to switch on my fan depending on the reading of my temperature sensor so what i am doing i am taking the sensor temperature sensor data i am comparing it if the temperature current temperature is greater than 25 degree then what action should be taken the action should be taken as the fan should be on so what is fan now fan is called as a actuator now fan is fan is called as a actuator actuator means to operate that particular product or external things we have to give some data okay so if you are giving the data then that data that product is activating that thing can be activating so that is called as actuator to so, sensor se data milta hai aur actuator ko dena padta hai simple hai agar yaad rakhna hai aapko to ekdam simple yaad rakhna hai sensor se hame data milega actuator ko hame dena padega operate karne ke liye actuator ko dena padega are you getting that okay so these are the very simple definitions of the arduino okay so ये तो मैंने क्लियर कर लिया देखो आर्डिनो इज नॉट माइक्रो कंट्रोल इट इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म तो आर्डिनो का एक सॉफ्टवेयर होना चाहिए सो देर इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इज अवेलेबल फॉर द आर्डिनो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट सॉफ्टवेयर वेयर फ्रॉम यू डाउनलोड दैट सॉफ्टवेयर सो आप बोलिए सर आर्डिनो ही क्यों वाई आर्डिनो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ एक्चुअली आर्ट मेगा थ्री टू एट दैट द आई सी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस बोर्ड द बोर्ड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हियर the same ic you can do a programming by using the different ides id is called as a integrated development environment okay uh, <clears throat> so what are the different id avr studio is the one of the id id one of the id is the avr studio so why arduino because it is open source very simple first is the first and last is very it is open so yeah it is inexpensive free of cost available for every avr studio for educational purpose it is free of cost but if you want to use it for product development then you have to purchase a license okay cross platform it is a cross platform because you are doing a programming on your computer for the at mega microcontroller so it is a cross platform okay you are compiling your program if you are compiling your program on a different microprocessor for the different microcontroller then that platform is called as a macros platform okay next one is simple and very clear programming environment so when you start the learning this ard you know you will see that it's very simple and very clear programming environment very simple suppose if you want to write something there is a word called as a write okay if you want to write digitally there is a function called as a digital write very simple so using the that function name only you can able to understand what that function is going to do digital write it is writing digitally very simple analog write it is writing analog okay yes uh, what is your youtube channel okay so i'm going to share my uh, link meanwhile you can visit the this link and you can join my youtube channel lots of the videos are available so link.ganeshattade.com/youtube okay so you can visit this link uh, and you can join the youtube okay uh, it is open source and extensible software yeah and uh, it is a also open source and extensible hardware is also open source yes yeah, that is very much important hardware is also open source now i will show you the hardware i will show the hardware now this is the very famous hardware the very famous hardware this co hardware is called the arduino you know arduino you know now this arduino you know hardware you can purchase it from the local market also or from the amazon also the price is actually before corona it is 500 rupees but now it is the price is up to the 800 rupees okay up to 800 700 to 800 rupees you can get it easily okay but you don't have to purchase this arduino you know if you want to do a programming why because the hardware is open source you can implement this board on you uh, by using the by using the 
breadboard also by using the breadboard okay so if you have the breadboard if you have this ic and if you have the crystal oscillator with you some uh, discrete components like uh, registers capacitors you can implement that board on your breadboard also very simple very simple so no need to have the bread but wh why generally everyone is purchasing this arduino you know because the quality is good and again all the input outputs are it is get taken out here and suppose if you want to connect any sensors or actuator these are some wires breadboard wires okay these are the wires and using these wires you can easily connect this like suppose this pin number 8 if you want to connect to any anyone any pins on breadboard then you can easily connect here okay so that's why instead of implementing our own we generally use the arduino you know okay so let me share again my screen and we'll move towards the next point i because it's hardware is open source hardware is open source means you can get everything you can get everything like the pcb gerber file also you can get it's a circuit diagram also you can get on the arduino website arduino.cc this is the website arduino.cc a r d u i n o.cc this is the website through which you can get the its uh, circuit diagram as well as you can get the uh, its gerber file the pcb also eagle eagle pcb you can also get and you can print out actually but that is that is the single single side pcb also you can get double side pcb also you can get you can also do your printing at your home and you can use that also okay but for rapid programming for rapid programming generally we refer this particular hardware arduino you know okay so that's why we are using the arduino now these are no, this is not only the one arduino available this is not only one arduino available in the market you can see okay so this is one of the arduino present okay one of the arduino but if you need a size suppose this size the size of this arduino you know is the size of the credit card okay your atm card size okay but for your project you require the very small small size microcontroller and this is the that small size microcontroller the functionality the same program that you are downloading in this arduino you know same program is is applicable for this arduino nano the name is the arduino nano getting the size is very small you can see comparison size is very small now you are saying that sir iska bhi size jada hai mujhe aur is kam size ka chahiye so this is a mini ye mini hai mini pro isko mini pro bolte hai the same program abhi iska khasiyat kya hai dekho the even the controllers are different pins are different the same program that you have used for downloading in this you know the same program you can download in you nano the same program you can download in this mini pro yes that is the advantage that is the advantage of using this the price of this you know is yes i have said that 800 rupees the price of nano is nearly about 400 rupees 400 rupees and the price of mini pro is nearly about 350 rupees okay 350 rupees okay so actually uh, due to the corona actually the price has been increased before corona the price is 500 rupees the price is 250 rupees and the price is only 150 rupees to 200 rupees for the mini pro okay but due to this corona actually because it is majorly came from the china so that's why uh, the price has been increased okay are you getting this now this is the the new arduino and there is you can see the modified arduino has been come in the market this is not official this is not official arduino from the arduino.cc but is uh, implemented by someone some companies okay uh, what what is the advantage of using this uh, arduino okay you can see the size is very same iska size aur iska size dono ka same hi hai to isme kya advantage hai ye dekho it is it is this arduino the traditional arduino we cannot connect to the internet but this arduino we can connect to the wi-fi so this arduino is having the you know plus wi-fi you know plus wi-fi now what uh, now what is the price the price of this one the traditional one nowadays the tribe paddy price is the 800 rupees but the price of this arduino with 
by phi is nearly about 650 rupees only 650 to 700 maximum 700 but nearly about 650 rupees okay so you can take the abhi dekho isme to jyada isme jyada facility hai the same program isme jo kar sakte the same program isme bhi kar sakte advantage isme kya hai isme wifi bhi hai it is having esp01 has been implemented so which is based if your project required internet then purchase this if a project doesn't require internet purchase this getting that okay because isme kya hai dekho here it is a dip ic agar ye ic ka koi port kharab bhi ho jaye to we can remove this and we can insert the new one and we can use this board again but this is not in the case of this isme kaun sa ic smd version ka ic hai dekho smd ic hai agar yahan pe smd version ka ic hai to iska price bhi kam hai lekin ye kya hai agar isme khata isme agar koi ek port agar chala gaya तो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ये हम निकाल ऐसे नहीं निकाल नहीं सकते बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमूव दिस आईसी एंड प्लग द न्यू आईसी हियर दैट्स व्हाई इट इज चीपर यस ओके ब्लूटूथ नहीं इट इज नॉट हैविंग द ब्लूटूथ इन बिल्ट ब्लूटूथ का दूसरा आता है आर्डिनो विद ब्लूटूथ इज ऑल्सो डिफरेंट आर्डिनो विद इथरनेट ये भी आता है देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ द आर्डिनो boards available in the market depending on the requirement actually you are going to use ye dekho ye you can see this this arduino actually this is not a at mega series it is a esp series esp32 microcontroller it is having but the program the we can do a program by using <coughs> sorry one minute huh? Sorry. Now this is the ESP32 microcontroller. It is called the ESP32 CAM. Now this microcontroller having the Wi-Fi capability as well as it is having the inbuilt camera with. Okay, so you can transfer the images. You can transfer the images over the Wi-Fi or over the internet. Okay, so depending on your requirement, actually there are the lots of the Arduino has been come in the market. ये देखो ये दूसरा एक है. ये ये ESP 8266 है देखो अभी देखो Arduino is a platform मैंने बताया there are the different different microcontrollers ये देखो इसमें there different microcontrollers microcontroller different actually it is having the same microcontroller okay but here it is a ESP 8266 microcontroller but we can do a programming of ESP 8266 microcontroller using Arduino platform this is a ESP 32 microcontroller but we can do a programming of ESP 32 using Arduino platform okay तो देखो आर्डिनो का मतलब यहाँ पे फायदा क्या हो गया एक बार मैंने आर्डिनो प्रोग्रामिंग पढ़ लिया तो कोई भी कौन सा ही माइक्रो कंट्रोल लाओ आपको प्रोग्रामिंग सिंपल एक ही पढ़ना है लेकिन वही अगर आपने माइक्रो कंट्रोलर स्पेसिफिक अगर आपने प्रोग्रामिंग पढ़ा जैसे 8051 पिक अगर 8051 का प्रोग्रामिंग पढ़ा इसका मतलब ऐसे नहीं कि आपको पिक का आए गई पिक का पिक के लिए आपको अलग से पढ़ना पड़ेगा आर यू गेटिंग दैट वट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस एक्चुअली मैंने ये मंगाया था चाइना से डायरेक्टली मंगाया था द कॉस्ट इज मैंने सिक्स फिफ्टी रुपीज का मंगाया था सिक्स फिफ्टी द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस ई एस पी थर्टी टू कैम इज सिक्स फिफ्टी बट यू कैन चेक इट आउट ऑन एमेजॉन ई एस पी थर्टी टू कैम चेक इट आउट ई एस पी थर्टी टू कैम ओके एंड यू कैन गेट अ लेटेस्ट प्राइस ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो ओके दिस इज अगेन वन मोर थिंग You can say there is an upgrade. There is a e, this also ESP eight two sixty. This also ESP eight two sixty. But it is having only the four digital IOs. Only four digital IOs. So if you if you want to connect to the internet or Wi-Fi, and if you want to interface only four digital IOs, then this is the best choice. The price of this one is nearly about only one fifty one fifty for purchasing a single unit. And if you are purchasing this in a bulk unit, then the price is near about the hundred rupees or even eighty to ninety rupees also. So for bulk purchase, it is very <coughs> less price. And this is the second one, Node MCU. This uh, board is the Node MCU. This board also we can connect to the internet, and using this board, we can control the home devices also. For example, using I have one relay. I have one relay with me. And suppose I want to uh, this relay I have connected to the one of my two thirty volt bulb 
okay 230 hole bulb and i have to switch on and off this 230 hole bulb through this relay so what i have to do i have to only provide the one signal to the relay if the you are providing signal to the relay relay is energizes and the current get passed from this to this okay so then this bulb get on okay if the bulb get on but how you are actuating the bulb by by using the internet or by using the app by using the bluetooth okay so there are the different different uh, uh, communication protocols by use you can send the command to this board and this board will actuate these things are you getting this yes any questions regarding to these boards depending on the size of required in your projects and the cost required for your project you can select you can select anyone you can select anyone okay so we'll move towards the again slides so these are the different uh, boards available uh, this is a you know leonardo then ethernet then yan and then mega mega is also there this dew is also there dew is very actually uh, arduino dew is very costlier that's why it is not uh, being used uh, in india mega and you know these are the two microcontrollers generally used and this is also one microcontroller the size of this microcontroller is the size of your 1 rupee coin okay one ek rupee ka coin hota hai na utna size hota hai uh, the name of that is name of that microcontroller name of this board is the lily pad uska naam kya hai lily pad okay how many ios same ios that is available in the you know you know mein jitne ios hai na same available hai uh, lily pad mein okay sirf so, usme programmer nahi hota program mein alag se control karna hota yes uh, dhawal one question dhawal chorwadkar can we connect multiple relay to single board to control household yes yes we can connect the multiple relays to single boards but how many maximum relays we can connect depending on how many ios that particular controller is having okay suppose if your microcontroller is having the suppose 15 uh, ios then we can connect the 15 relays okay actually we can connect the more relays also by doing the multiplexing multiplexing we can also connect but direct if you want to connect then direct we can connect only the ios number of ios uh available in your microcontroller <clears throat> uh yes uh pu says raspberry pi is also same or it is different yes raspberry pi is different because uh, raspberry pi contains raspberry pi contains the operating system this arduino you know arduino mega this is having the dedicated this having the dedicated program inside it once you upload the program the same program is up, the same program is being executing if you want to update it you are downloading the new program now the previous program get erase but it is not in the case of the raspberry pi raspberry pi is just like your computer okay just connect the monitor just connect the uh, your uh, keyboard mouse and do a programming and what is whatever the lots of program is available which program you want to run just run it just like your program just like your computer if you want to run the microsoft word you double click on it microsoft word will be running if you are double click on excel excel will be running okay so depending on that what program you are executing you want to execute you have to run it okay so that is that's why it's a mic uh, advanced microcontroller it is a microcontroller but it is having the operating system installed in it so using the my operating system why generally we use the operating system to achieve the multitasking so if in your project if in your project if you want to do a multiple task at the same time then instead of using this better to use raspberry pi better to use raspberry pi so i can show you the raspberry pi also so i have lots of boards with me so these are the raspberry pi okay 
So this is 3b plus, this is 3b, this is 3b plus, uh, both are same. And now this is 4, Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry. Actually, this is the same, but I have enclosed in a uh, one of case, okay, Raspberry Pi case me school again. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. The difference is it is having a 1 GB of RAM and it is having the 4 GB of RAM. Okay, it's charge GB ka RAM. So, it's a program run over. Actually, uh, if your program is the size of the um, suppose a computer vision ka program, hai. like uh, if you are reading a tem uh, if you are reading the image and you're processing that image and after processing that image you are actuating something okay or if you want to take some decision then generally we use that particular to process the image we require the higher speed that's why at that time we are using the raspberry pi getting that <coughs> okay okay so raspberry pi is different than the arduino so same program is not applicable to the Raspberry Pi. So generally for doing a Raspberry Pi program, we use the Python. So if you want to get into the Raspberry Pi, you can, you have to learn the Python first. Okay. So this is the one snapshot of Arduino, you know, okay. This is the pinout. Now you can learn this pinout by yourself also, because this is open source. Like it is how many digital IOs are present. Okay. So as this, it is already been printed it is a digital pin number zero to pin number 13. So total 14 digital IOs are present out of which this three, five, six, nine, 10 and 11. These are the PWM pins zero and one. These are for the serial communication TX and RX. And these are the power supply pins, power out pins, 3.3 hold power output pins, five hold power output pins. These are the ground pins, power input pins, uh, USB required for programming and for serial communication for out for power input to give the power input through the adapter actually there is a power adapter is also there some analog inputs the pin are there to connect some different sensors okay so th these pinouts they are very simple for doing a programming you have to first only remember this pinout you don't have to remember actually what happened inside it what is the architecture of this atmail series because we are learning platform. We are not learning microcontrollers here. We are learning the platform. We are learning the programming platform. We are not learning the specific microcontroller. Are you getting that? So learning the microcontroller, learning the Arduino means not learning microcontroller. Learning the Arduino means you are learning the programming platform by which you can do a programming of a different, different microcontroller. Yes. Now, as I have already said that, if you want to start the Arduino programming, you don't, if you don't have the 800 rupees or if this is not available, Arduino, you know, you can implement by yourself. So Arduino board can be implemented on zero PCB, even on a breadboard also you can implement. And these are the bare, some component that is required for implementing your Arduino board. Okay, you can start kar sakte ho. Implement karo, ka aapka Arduino board banao. It's all the circuits diagram is available in the Arduino.cc website. <clears throat> IC aapko mil but just you have to make sure that before purchasing that IC, you have to make sure that this IC should have the Arduino capability. Because our same IC agar aap market mein lene ke liye gaye, at mega 328P, then the shopkeeper will ask that with bootloader or without bootloader. Now with bootloader means Arduino compatible. With boot, without bootloader means Arduino not compatible. Getting that? So if you use Arduino, Arduino, ko use karna hai, Arduino, Arduino use karke, agar aapko programming, then you should have bootloader present. Hona so what is bootloader? Bootloader is the small program which is already running in this site, already running in this IC, which is communicating through the Arduino platform, which is communicating to the Arduino IDE. Are you getting this? <coughs> okay, Prasad says uh, Raspberry Pi is used for multitasking. Then does it contain microprocessor? No, it contains microcontroller. It contains because but its speed is high. Its speed is high. Even this, because it is using the ARM 11 micro, ARM 9 microcontrollers. Okay. ARM 9 microcontrollers having the speed of nearly about uh, 1 to 2 gigahertz. Okay. Uh, 
मैंने बताया था देखो माइक्रो प्रोसेसर ही नहीं पहले होता था माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हाई स्पीड बट नाउ अडेज न माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूज करके भी हम कंप्यूटर बना रहे ओके माइक्रो कंट्रोल यूज करके भी कंप्यूटर बना रहे ओके नाउ दीज आर सम प्रोजेक्ट दैट वी कैन इंप्लीमेंटेड यूजिंग द आरडीनो ओके सम नाउ दीज आर ओनली द फ्यू प्रोजेक्ट्स बट इफ यू टेक अ लिस्ट ना आप जस्ट गो टू द गूगल एंड जस्ट सर्च आउट प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग आरडीनो now you can get the uh, more than 500 projects more than 500 projects the i have given here simple simple projects okay digital thermometer okay jaise ki ek temperature sensor hai aur using that temperature sensor just you are displaying the value of that temperature sensor okay digital thermometer rfid based door lock ek card hota hai rfid radio frequency identity card okay to card dikhaya door open hona chahiye कार्ड दूसरा का, अगर कार्ड फिर से दिखाए तो डोर लॉक होना चाहिए ओके okay, इस तरीके से ऑटोमेटिक सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसिंग मशीन यस वी आर ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट दैट ओके फिंगरप्रिंट बेस्ड अटेंडेंस सिस्टम फिंगरप्रिंट अगर आपने रखा अटेंडेंस लगना चाहिए मैसेज जाना चाहिए सो दैट प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन राइटिंग एंड ड्रॉइंग मशीन ओके ऑटोमेटिक राइट करेगा कुछ ड्रॉइंग करेगा वो भी यू कैन सर्च आउट द यूट्यूब फॉर दैट ऑल्सो ओके okay, आपने देखा भी होगा कि अगर कुछ उसके सामने अगर हमने कुछ इनपुट दिया कुछ इमेज का तो वो इमेज निकाल के देता है ओके okay? होम ऑटोमेशन सिस्टम यस एज डिटेक्शन रोबोट सम ऑल काइंड ऑफ रोबोट यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट यूजिंग आरडीनो ऑब्स्टेकल अवेयरनेस रोबोट लाइन फॉलो रोबोट एनी आइडिया कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंट जस्ट यू थिंक आइडिया बट दैट पर्टिकुलर सेंसर एक्चुएटर शुड बी प्रेजेंट ओके लेकिन अगर प्रेजेंट नहीं है तो आपको बनाना पड़ेगा ओके सो दिस अतो लेट्स टेक सम प्रैक्टिकल्स सो इट इज नियर अबाउट वन आवर एंड थर्टी मिनट हैज बीन ओवर फॉर द थियोरी ओनली तो हम जलते टिंकर कैड में सो हाउ टू यूज दिस टिंकर कैड फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट वी विल सी फर्स्ट देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल अगेन मूव टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ अवर वेबिनार ओके सो द वेबसाइट इज टिंकर कैड डॉट कॉम आई हैव ऑलरेडी साइन अप on the tinker cad if you want to use this tinker cad first then you have to sign up okay aapko pehle sign up karna hoga after sign up you can use this you can use this to so, tinkercad.com is the website jaise main gaya to ye dekho maine already login hai isliye mera directly dashboard aaya agar aapka already login nahi hai to aapko yahan pe sign up aayega साइन अप करो एक ईमेल में एक वेरीफाई लिंक जाएगा जस्ट वेरीफाई करना है एंड यू कैन गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्क्रीन ऑन योर नाउ यूजिंग दिस टिंकर कैड एक्चुअली दिस इज द टिंकर कैड इज द प्लेटफॉर्म डेवलप्ड बाय द एटो डेस एटो डेस इज द कंपनी व्हिच इज मेजरली यूज फॉर द एटो कैड सॉफ्टवेयर तो ये पहले थ्री डिजाइन के लिए था तो ये देखो थ्री डिजाइन अगर आपको करना है ना तो ये भी हम कर सकते हैं सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन सम थ्री and if you want to get printed on 3d printer to design hum yahan pe create kar sakte hai now circuit also we can create circuit matlab kya hai ki koi bhi circuit any circuit we can create just like i have developed the different uh, uh, programs here you can see here you can see jaise ultrasonic sensor servo sensor servo motor lcd interfacing motion sensor seven segment ldr this tm36 interfacing potentiometer buzzer push button pwm rgb led bicolor serial serial protocol sab ke to pehle hum dekh lete ki isme kya hota hai to kaise karna hai sabse pehle if you want to start with the new circuit click on the create new circuit very simple okay to main thoda fast le raha hu you can see a replay of this also to sabse pehle when you click on the create new circuit This is the new platform. If you this platform is new to you, then firstly you have to rename it. पहले rename करना है, okay? तो मैं rename कर रहा हूँ webinar, okay? Webinar one इस तरीके से, okay? <coughs> so there are some icons. These icons are self-explanatory. Like this is a rotate, and this is the delete. This is the undo, redo. एंड दिस इज द लेबल देना है तो अगर कुछ वायर का कलर चेंज करना है तो वायर का कलर यहाँ पे चेंज कर सकते हैं वायर का टाइप चेंज करना है तो यहाँ से कर सकते हैं ओके नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज द कॉम्पोनेंट ओके तो कॉम्पोनेंट्स में हम देख लेते हैं तो देखो कॉम्पोनेंट्स में टाइप्स इज द बेसिक ऑल कॉम्पोनेंट बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑल कॉम्पोनेंट स्टार्टर में भी देखो बेसिक आर्डिनो माइक्रोबेट सर्किट असेंबली एंड ऑल 
सो विल गो टूवर्ड्स दी ऑल हम ऑल देखते हैं और ऑल में देखते हैं कि कौन कौन से कॉम्पोनेंट्स अभी इसमें अवेलेबल विच कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर अवेलेबल नाउ आई एम जस्ट थोड़ा बड़ा करता हूँ ओके नाउ यू कैन सी सो वेरी फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट रजिस्टर यस रजिस्टर है तो अगर मुझे रजिस्टर देना है तो क्या करना है सिंपल आपको इसको जो कॉम्पोनेंट आपको लेना है वो यहाँ पे पकड़ के यहाँ पे रखना है आपको नाउ दिस इज द वर्किंग एरिया यस ओके सो दिस इज द वर्किंग एरिया वेयर वी कैन डिजाइन अवर सर्किट तो हमें जो भी कॉम्पोनेंट देना है ना दैट कॉम्पोनेंट यू हैव टू पिक एंड यू हैव टू प्लेस इट हियर नाउ यू कैन चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस रजिस्टर लाइक कितना चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट द टू ट्वेंटी होम सो टू ट्वेंटी होम टू ट्वेंटी होम नाउ यू कैन सी द कलर कोड इट इज अ टू ट्वेंटी होम रजिस्टर सो कैपेसिटन चाहिए तो कैपेसिटर जस्ट ड्रॉ ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप इट हियर नाउ यू कैन डू द कैपेसिटन्स वैल्यू कैपेसिटन वैल्यू कौन सा देना है वो नाउ सपोज अगर आपने गलती से यहाँ पे दर दिया तो आपको सिंपली इसको डिलेट करना है यू कैन डिलेट इट ऑल्सो पोलराइज कैपेसिटर चाहिए यस पोलराइज कैपेसिटर इज देयर डायोड चाहिए डायोड इज देयर जिनर डायोड चाहिए जिनर डायोड इज देयर इंडक्टर यस इंडक्टर इज ऑल्सो देयर इनपुट्स में क्या क्या है पुश बटन यस पुश बटन इज ऑल्सो देयर जस्ट लाइक सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट पुश पुश ऑन ऑफ करना है पुश बटन इज देयर ओके पुश टू ऑन टाइप ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट पोटेंशियो मीटर ओके अगर सर्किट में आपका पोटेंशियो मीटर है तो देखो इसमें दिया है कितना रेजिस्टेंट चाहिए सपोज वन के का चाहिए तो मैंने वन के का ये ला गया ओके वन के का है ना अगर ये वन के का है तो इसमें तीन टर्मिनल होते हैं टर्मिनल वन टर्मिनल टू एंड मिडल टर्मिनल वाई फाइव टर्मिनल ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर नो द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द इनपुट इज गिवन हियर like uh, slide switch is also there just like physical slides hota hai na usi tarike se now we can simulate also okay isme simulate bhi kar sakte hum just like we can vary the uh, resistance we can vary the resistance okay ek simply ek uh, circuit implement karte simply ek ekdam simple circuit karte what we will do we will take one breadboard ओके सो इट इज हैविंग द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रेडबोर्ड ब्रॉडबोर्ड मिनी स्मॉल और ब्रेडबोर्ड जो अपना रेगुलर होता है तो मैं ब्रेडबोर्ड स्मॉल ब्रेडबोर्ड ले रहा हूं ओके okay, तो थोड़ा बड़ा हो गया छोटा करते हैं सो यू कैन जूम इन एंड जूम आउट ओके तो ये कर लिया नाउ आई वांट द आई वांट द पोटेंशियोमीटर ओके सो दिस पोटेंशियोमीटर आई एम टेकिंग ओके तो पोटेंशियोमीटर आई एम कनेक्टिंग हियर ओके now what i need i need a multimeter so yes multimeter is also available now you can see here multimeter now multimeter now what you have to measure resistance yes resistor measure karna hai to maine resistor laga diya okay to main kya karunga abhi isko connection karna hai mujhe to ye connection main first terminal ko and the last terminal ko if i'm connecting to first and last and the size is uh, suppose uh, 1k Size is one k. So if I'm start simulating, if I'm start simulation, so can anybody tell me what is the value? What is the value here? Yes, I have connection. How did I do? First or last? I have connection. I am not connecting to middle one. So if I have resistance on top, then what will be the value of the multimeter? Yes. Yes. Can anybody tell me? Zero. Let's check it. So value is one k, because because the value the it is a fix. Okay, this is fix. Hai. Fix ke liye laga hai maine. Ye dekho. Maine wiper ko nahi laga hai. Maine fix ko laga hai. To ye first or last hota hai na. That is the fix terminals. Okay. Abhi main kya karta hu? First or middle ko connect karta hu. First or middle ko. To agar main first or middle ko maine connect kiya, to dekho. Dekho. Kitna hai zero. Abhi isko increase karunga. So you can simulate. You can simulate here. Ye dekho. अगर मैं इसको बढ़ा रहा हूं ना तो ये मैक्सिम कितना होगा वन के मिनिमम कितना होगा जीरो सो जीरो टू वन के जीरो टू वन के ओके सो इफ यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट एनी सर्किट यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट द एनी सर्किट मैं दूसरा मैं दो मल्टीमीटर चाहिए मैं दो मल्टीमीटर ले सकता हूं ओके okay, तो आप देखो मैंने यहां पर ये फर्स्ट वाला था ये मैंने यहां पर कनेक्ट किया अभी कनेक्शन इज वेरी इजी ओके कनेक्शन कैसे करना है जिस पिन से स्टार्ट करना है उस पिन क्लिक करना है और जहां पे एंड करना है ना उधर जाओ ओके एंड करना है ओके यू कैन चेंज द कलर आल्सो जैसे मैंने ब्लैक कलर दे दिया 
okay and this i'm connecting to okay here aur ye black wala main third wale pe upar kar raha hu third wale ke upar now and uh, mode i am taking as a resistance okay start simulation karunga to dekho yahan pe okay so you can see here <coughs> first mein 0 ohm dikha raha hai aur last mein 1 kilo ohm dikha raha hai ye middle mein agar main karunga to dono ka addition kabhi bhi aayega dono ka addition kitna aayega dono ka addition 1 ki hi aayega because the total resistance ye series mein hai dekho this is the series the addition of the r1 and r2 is always 1 ki एडिशन ऑफ द आर वन ये तो आपको संजय चौधरी सर ने सिखाई होगा कि ये कैसे करना है कैसे कैसे करते हैं ओके सो इफ यू डोंट हैव द रियल कंपोनेंट्स विथ यू एंड इफ यू वांट टू डू अ इफ यू वांट टू डू अ प्रैक्टिकल्स दिस इज द बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट एंड दैट इज ऑनलाइन कोई किसी को पैसा भी नहीं देना है किसी को कुछ नहीं करना है सिर्फ इंटरनेट चाहिए इफ यू हैव द इंटरनेट यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट एनी सर्किट जस्ट लाइक सपोज If you want to implement a circuit of triple five, so just place, drag this triple five, and you can place it here. Drag some components, जो भी components हो, LED चाहिए, जो uh, capacitor, resistor, all the components you just make a by using the wires, by using the breadboards, and now you can do a programming. Uh, you you can now this program actually this is the analog pro analog circuit. This doesn't require the program, but you can do a circuits which requires the programming also why because it is also having the arduino ye dekho isme arduino mein it is having the arduino directly arduino hai dekho it is having the arduino so what i can do i can use any device like i'm using led okay dekho maine led liya and i'm using the resistor i'm using a resistor okay connection kar raha hu main to main connection is tarike se karunga okay so i'm doing the connection yes okay sorry i'm doing the connection and i'm connecting this to pin number 13 now you can see I have done the connection. Now I want to write a program for blinking LED. Very simple. Just just go to the code. यहाँ पे coding होता है. देखो block programming में करना है. तो block programming करो. मैंने बोला तो देखो. जो block होते हैं वो सिर्फ यहाँ पे निकाल के यहाँ पे place करने होते हैं. Okay. तो यहाँ पे देखा है. Set build 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 built-in LED to high. Wait for one second. Set built-in LED to low. Wait for one second. Or even you can do a text programming also. Yes. This is the text programming. This is C plus plus programming. Okay. So what is this pin mode? Digital write. It is self-explanatory. Like pin mode, pin ka mode. Koi sa pin hai? Thirteen number. Digital I O hota hai. I O matlab input output. So input use kar raha hu ya output use kar raha hu? Output use kar raha hu. Because LED is a actuator. So dekho output device select kar diya. Uske baad me digital write kar diya, high kar diya. Uske baad me low kar diya. So kya hoga? Ek second ke liye on rahega aur ek second ke liye off rahega. Ek dam simple. Now what is the setup loop? Yes, sir. We when we start actual our program, we will learn that what is setup, what is loop, what to be write in the setup, what to be write in loop. Yes, sir. We will see it. But if you write a program and if program is right and if your connection also right, you can get a your simulation. You can see a uh, its simulation. You can get the simulation. Yes, so it is blinking now. One second ke liye on, one second ke liye off. One second ke liye on, one second ke liye off. Okay. So for starting your Arduino programming, actually, you don't require to have the Arduino, you know, with you. आपको आपके पास खुद भी नहीं रहे ना तब भी भी चलेगा. तो देखो इसमें all component देख लेते कौन कौन से photo register है, photo diode है, light sensor है, flex sensor होता है, flex sensor. force sensor hai ir sensor hai ultrasonic sensor now this sense all the sensors we are covering in our course tilt sensor hai temperature sensor gas sensor keyboard se dip switches led rgb led light bulb hai jaise 12 volt ke upar 230 volt ke upar chalne wala neo pixels hote hai leds hote hai uske baad mein vibration motor diya hai dc motor diya hai servo motor diya hai okay 
पीजो बजर दिया आई आर रिमोट दिया है सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले दिया है एलसीडी दिया है बैटरीज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड बैटरी ऑल्सो गिवन जैसे कि सपोज आपको कुछ कनेक्ट करके आपको देखना है ओके सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट इट आउट सपोज मैंने एक एलईडी है इफ आई हैव द एलईडी और उस एलईडी को अगर मैं डायरेक्टली सप्लाई दूंगा नाइन होल्ड का अगर मैंने डायरेक्टली सप्लाई दे दिया नाइन होल्ड का ओके पॉजिटिव कनेक्टेड टू एनोड एंड नेगेटिव कनेक्टेड टू कैथोड इस तरीके से ओके सो व्हाट हैपन अगर आपके पास नाइन होल्ड और एलईडी है तो आप कर सकते हो लेकिन इसमें क्या होगा इफ द सर्किट गेट रॉन्ग वॉट हैपन योर एलईडी गेट बर्न आउट लेकिन इसमें क्या देखो यहाँ पे क्या होगा यहाँ पे दिखा रहा है देखो द करंट थ्रू एलईडी इज नाइन वन फाइव मिली एम्पियर मतलब नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन मिली एम्पियर नियरली अबाउट वन एम्पियर वाइल द एब्सोलूट मैक्सिमम इज ट्वेंटी मिली एम्पियर तो एलईडी कैन विस्टैंड विद द ट्वेंटी मिली एम्पियर करंट ओनली तो ज्यादा जा रहा है तो एलईडी बर्स्ट हो जाएगा आपका तो वो बोल रहा है कि नहीं नहीं ऐसे नहीं चलेगा अगर ये अगर रियल में करोगे तो क्या होगा एलईडी खराब हो जाएगा तो इससे अच्छा मैं क्या करूंगा मैं टेस्ट करूंगा ओके अभी मैं मुझे क्या चाहिए अगर मुझे करंट कम करना है तो रजिस्टर कनेक्ट करूंगा तो मैं एक रजिस्टर लूंगा वो रजिस्टर मैंने कनेक्ट कर दिया सीरीज में मैंने सीरीज में मैंने एक रजिस्टर कनेक्ट कर दिया ओके तो देखता हूं मैं अभी कैसे होता है ओके लेकिन इसका ब्राइटनेस कम है देखो ब्राइटनेस कम है तो ब्राइटनेस कम मतलब करंट कम फ्लो रहा है ओके तो मैं क्या करूंगा मैं उसका रजिस्टेंस कम कर दूंगा तो मैंने रजिस्टेंस कम किया एंड अगेन आई एम स्टार्ट सिमुलेशन तो देखता हूँ ओके अभी देखो कितना है वो दे रहा जो करंट थ्रू द एलईडी इज थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन मिली एम्पियर वो भी ज्यादा है तो मैं एग्जैक्ट अमाउंट ऑफ करंट अगर निकालना है तो मैं बोलूंगा कि ओके थ्री थर्टी देखे देखते हैं ओके देखते थ्री थर्टी दिया तो अभी कितना ट्वेंटी पॉइंट नाइन तो थ्री थर्टी भी नहीं दे रहा है तो सपोज आई एम गिविंग द फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड ओम देखते फाइव हंड्रेड ओम का फाइव हंड्रेड ओम का यस नाउ इट इज गुड ओके ये अभी काम कर रहा है गेटिंग दैट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव यूर कॉम्पोनेंट्स by some practicing so you can simulate it so you can simulate using the tinker cad okay so lots of devices are there arduino is there at et tiny is there multimeter bhi hai dekho multimeter hai oscilloscope yes cro is also there function generator is also there power supply is also there dekho aapke lab mein jo hota hai na all lab equipments is there to lab ke jo practical se wo aap yahan pe bhi kar sakte ho triple five timer This uh, two triple five that is five five six timer. Optam hota hai. Quad kya? Ye quad comparator hai. LM three one three nine three hai. Opto coupler bhi hai. Dekho transistor bhi hoti hai isme. All the transistor it is having. Regulator IC hai. Dekho three point three volt regulator IC, five volt regulator IC. Is tarike se. Matlab apko agar ek circuit implement karna hai ki nine volt se mujhe five volt ka circuit chahiye. To main kaise implement karunga? To apke pas koi device nahi hai. To main karunga simply tinker cad open karunga. मैं यहाँ पे फाइव होल्ड का रेगुलेटर मैंने लिया और मैं करूंगा ये आउट है देखो ये ग्राउंड है ये ग्राउंड है तो ग्राउंड कनेक्ट किया मैंने निगेटिव को ये इनपुट मैंने कनेक्ट किया इसको पॉजिटिव को एंड मैं यहाँ पे दे रहा हूँ एक मल्टीमीटर ले रहा हूँ आई एम टेकिंग वन मल्टीमीटर एंड ओके और मैं यहाँ पे देख रहा हूँ निगेटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू निगेटिव एंड इज पॉजिटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू आउट पॉजिटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू आउट ओके तो इस तरीके से देखते हैं कि आउटपुट कितना आएगा आउटपुट इज पांच फाइव वोल्ट आउटपुट इज फाइव तो इनपुट है नाइन वोल्ट आउटपुट इज फाइव वोल्ट आर यू गेटिंग दिस तो आपको अगर कोई भी एकेडमिक्स के कोई भी प्रैक्टिकल्स करने हैं सो वो दैट प्रैक्टिकल्स यू कैन प्रैक्टिस ऑन टिंकर कैट आपके पास ऐसे नहीं कि ऐसे होना ही चाहिए देखो लॉजिक डिफरेंट लॉजिक आईसी इज ऑल्सो देयर ओके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लॉजिक आईसी एंड गेट और गेट फ्लिपलॉप बाइनरी काउंटर सेवन सेगमेंट डिकोडर जॉनसन काउंटर एट बिट शिफ्ट ये सब कुछ है मतलब दिस टिंकर कैड इज नॉट ओनली फॉर डूइंग आर्डिनो प्रोग्रामिंग दिस टिंकर कैड यू कैन यूज फॉर ऑल पर्पज इवन फॉर एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इवन फॉर द डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑल्सो और इवन फॉर द एम्बेडेड सिस्टम ऑल्सो सो जनरली वेन अवर प्रोग्राम गेट स्टार्टेड वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल द प्रोग्राम ऑन फर्स्ट दिस टिंकर कैड विल टेस्ट आट आउट एंड आफ्टर टेस्टिंग आउट वी विल टेस्ट इट ऑन अ रियल बोर्ड फिजिकल बोर्ड के ऊपर भी हम टेस्ट करते हैं सो एनी डाउट एनी डाउट इन दिस यस एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग टू द टिंकर कैड नेक्स्ट वेन इज द आई एम गोइंग टू मैंने देखो पहले शुरुआत में ही मैंने आपको बोला था कि मैं आपको एक अच्छा एक प्रोजेक्ट ऐसे दिखाने वाला हूं आज एक प्रोजेक्ट में दिखाऊंगा कि दैट प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड टूडे ओनली वेरी इनोवेटिव प्रोजेक्ट 
सो दिखाऊ आपको देखना है वो प्रोजेक्ट यस हु वॉन्ट्स टू सी दैट प्रोजेक्ट ओके तो प्रोजेक्ट देख लेते हैं प्रोजेक्ट क्या है सिंपल द प्रोजेक्ट इज वेरी सिंपल बट आइडिया इज इनोवेटिव आइडिया इज वेरी इनोवेटिव सो वॉट आई एम डूइंग ओके तो लेट्स सी दिस कैमेरा ओके ये पूरे बोर्ड में बाहर कर रहा हूं एंड यू कैन सी दिस नो हाउ मेनी एलईडीज कितने एलईडीज ग्लो रहे जीरो एक भी एलईडी ग्लो नहीं हो फाइव एलईडीज है बट नो वन एक भी एलईडी ग्लो नहीं हो रहा है एक भी एलईडी यहाँ पे ग्लो नहीं हो रहा है ओके okay? आप ही मुझे क्या करना है कि इसमें एलईडी ग्लो करने हैं बट कितने एलईडी ग्लो करने हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव मैक्सिम फाइव एलईडीज तो जनरली क्या होता है फाइव बटन आर कनेक्टेड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन बटन दबाया तो वन एलईडी दूसरा दबाया तो दो एलईडी तीसरा दबाया तो तीसरा एलईडी ओके इस तरीके से आप कर सकते हो ओके सो हाउ आई हैव मॉडिफाइड दिस प्रोग्राम हाउ आई हैव मॉडिफाइड आई हैव मॉडिफाइड दिस प्रोग्राम बाय यूजिंग द ओपन सीवी हैव यू हर्ड दिस वर्ड ओपन सीवी किसी ने सुना ये वर्ड ओपन सीवी कंप्यूटर विजन इट्स नेम इज अ कंप्यूटर विजन Now we can do a programming. We can do a programming using the Python on the OpenCV. So we will do what? One simple. I have done a project. What have I done? I have made a camera. Okay, that camera, whatever camera will be, the camera has been captured from the camera. Okay, which camera? But my front camera. Okay, I am talking about my front camera. From the camera, I have made an image capture. And after that capturing that image i am checking that it is having hand or not okay hand kuch hai ki nahi wo check karunga matlab ye dekh lo aap is tarike se so just i am changing my camera to main kya kar raha hu main main is tarike se karunga ki okay now hand hai okay this is my hand so my frame jo image hoga na that image will detect the hand wo hand hai ki nahi check karenge okay if there is a hand कितने फिंगर्स अप है वो चेक करेंगे हाउ मेनी फिंगर्स अप सो फाइव फिंगर्स अप इफ फाइव फिंगर्स अप पांचों के पांचों एलईडी ऑन हो जाएंगे ऑल द फाइव एलईडी गेट ऑन ओके अगर उसमें अगर एक एलईडी है मैंने ऐसे किया वन वन एलईडी तो एक एलईडी ऑन होगा मैं टू करूंगा तो दो एलईडी ऑन होगी तीन करूंगा तो तीन एलईडी ऑन होगा ये करूंगा तो चार एलईडी ऑन होगा ये करूंगा तो पांच एलईडी ऑन होगा इस तरीके से मैंने तीन किया तो तीन होगा मैंने दो किया तो दो ही होगा ओके सो कितने एलईडी ऑन करने That I am controlling through my hand, through my hand gesture, hand gesture. The same project you can get it on YouTube also. YouTube में मिल सकता है आपको ये project. Okay? तो आपको ये hand gesture use करके you have to control. अगर मैं LED control कर रहा हूँ, so you can control anything. You can control any actuator. You can control your home device also. Anything, any you can do. Any you can control. But लेकिन आपको इसके लिए आपको चाहिए. इसके लिए आपको चाहिए. नॉलेज ऑफ दी पाइथन पाइथन का नॉलेज चाहिए तो देखो ओके सो दिस इज द माई आई डी वे आर आई कैन डू अ प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ पाइथन इट इज कॉल्ड पाइचम आई डी पाइच आई डी में मैंने यहाँ पे किया है ओके okay? मैंने यहाँ पे डिटेक्ट किया हैंड अगर हैंड होता है तो मैंने किया है कि कितने फिंगर्स अप है पहले चेक करो ओके हाउ मेनी फिंगर्स अप जितने फिंगर्स अप है वो सीरियली सेंड कर देना है ओके okay? I'm sending to the serial. Okay, serial के ऊपर send किया. Arduino में मैंने program क्या किया है कि serial के through क्या receive हो रहा है? अभी serial के through क्या receive होगा? कितने LED on करने हैं? तो मैंने उसको क्या send किया है? Zero one zero one बस इतना ही send किया है. Okay. Suppose मुझे एक LED on करना है, तो मैं करूँगा one zero 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 zero. Okay. पांच LED है ना? तो one zero 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 zero. तो one zero zero मतलब ten thousand अगर मैं send करूँगा तो क्या होगा first LED अगर मैं one one zero 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 करूँगा तो क्या हो जाए eleven thousand करूँगा तो only two LEDs get on getting that अगर one 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 करूँगा तो five LED on हो जाएगा और तो इस तरीके से simple project है देखो it is not so much a difficult project so I am running this program and let's see this actually <coughs> Okay, so uh, actually, 
I can't use both camera at the same time. So what I can do, I'm connecting uh, the link through my smartphone and you can see the output. Output is on the top of it. Because I will do what I One minute, huh? okay. So start. Okay, Dikra. So I'm adding the spotlight. Okay, you can see. Mm. Okay, so output. Are you able to see the output? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So my screen one ke upar me share kar raho. No, pie chamka. Okay, so I'm running this. Now my default camera is my front camera. Okay, so Python has started its. Uh, okay, so this is the Python image. The way Python ka image hai, main, main microphone bar kar rao. Now you can see. Okay. So okay. Output dikra hai apko? Are you able to see output? Yes, sir. Okay. So dek to uh may hand jab me longa na to dekho yapi kya. Gaya. So this is my right hand. Okay, so it has detected my right hand. Okay. So you can see output. Agar output agar aapko dikhai de hai. So how many LEDs are is now on? Dekho. Five. 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 Middle finger, ये इसका नाम क्या होता है मुझे नहीं पता. And the last one is pinky finger. Okay. Ring finger. Ring okay. finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Yes, it is a ring finger. Okay. So this is thumb. देखो thumb off हो गया. Index off हुआ. Then this is the middle finger. Ring finger भी गया. और ये अपना pinky finger भी गया. कौन सा LED on करना है? देखो, first किया, index करना है तो बस, तो I can control the five individual devices here, okay? So first device, thumb के ऊपर, second device, दोनों अगर on चाहिए तो इस तरीके का get चार, अगर मुझे first ये second वाला ही चाहिए, तो बस ये करूँगा, चार के सभी on चाहिए, तो मैं ये करूँगा, और ये करके now programming थोड़ा change करना पड़ेगा मैंने क्या किया है कि अगर hand अगर जाता है तो zero आएगा ना तो LED भी off हो जाएंगे ये देखो all the LEDs get off इस तरीके से all the LEDs get off तो अगर ये अगर मैंने programming इस तरीके से है कि last जो आया था वो उसका status save करना है तो वो भी on करेगा मतलब मैंने दो किया छोड़ दिया तो दो के दो on रहेंगे इस तरीके से okay you can see so is it innovative ऐसे नहीं कि एक क्यों करेगा so it can also detect the second also. So I can do another one. Ten devices I can control. This is specifically seen. Right and left. This is right, this is left, and this is right. So I also do it. What is right? What is left? What is left? And also there are some gestures also there. I can also detect some gestures. Okay. So but for that purpose, Arduino programming is not working. Arduino to chahiye mujhe. Arduino kis liye chahiye? Arduino mujhe chahiye. One minute. So I'm leaving that meeting from my smartphone. Okay. Abhi kar rahe. Toh abhi kya chahiye mujhe? Mujhe chahiye hi dekho. Still it is detecting. Still it is detecting. Okay. Toh Arduino program mujhe receiving ke liye chahiye. Lekin transmission ke liye I require the Python. I require the Python. Us Python may be embedded me mujhe chahiye open CV. Open CV. So this kind of the projects you can also develop. Okay, so you can see here, it's simple. Hai, dekho. 
ओके यू कैन सी हियर नीचे देखो आप ओके पांचों के पांचों आने तो क्या डेटा सेंड कर रहे देखो वन 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 ओके अगर मैंने सिर्फ वन अगर यहाँ पे वन किया तो देखो एक ही देर जीरो वन जीरो 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 ओके अगर सिर्फ थर्म है तो क्या रहा है वन जीरो 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 ओके सिर्फ टू है तो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो सो आई हैव ओनली सेंड दैट डेटा टू द आरडीनो एकदम सिंपल अगर मैंने आपको ये नहीं दिखा था तो आपको ऐसे लगता कि अरे सर ने तो इतना डिफिकल्ट प्रोजेक्ट किया है बट दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज नॉट सो मच डिफिकल्ट कोडिंग कोडिंग अगर आप देखोगे अगर इस प्रोग्राम का कोडिंग अगर देखोगे तो कोडिंग कितने का है कोडिंग ऑफ साइज ओनली हार्डली थर्टी लाइन्स का है हार्डली थर्टी लाइन्स एंड कोडिंग ऑफ द आरडीनो इज हार्डली फिफ्टीन लाइन्स ओनली फिफ्टीन लाइन्स ऑफ प्रोग्राम यस आर यू गेटिंग दिस ओके सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव टू शो टू यू सो वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन कनेक्ट टू the sanjay choudhary sir as well as you can connect to me also so these are the actually program that generally we are taking okay so embedded programming using arduino in this actually this is the very starting of this program uh, here we have started with the programming what is how to make how to write a variable from that how to write a if else for loop while switch how to create a function how to use the different operators how to interface with the leds rgb led switch all types of the actuators and the sensor most of the actuator and sensor analog sensor analog sensor and the digital sensor digital sen digital actuator and the analog actuator all the types of the interfacing we are going to uh, cover in this internship so if you want to join this program actually They, this is more regarding to the uh, training again um now you that is very important one last one right read out the last one access the recording for lifetime free for who enroll for this internship so who if you have enrolled for this internship then the all the recordings it is a lifetime free and you can get that recording on our lms pro portal and that is a career lifestyle hub.com you can visit that also careerlifestylehub.com there are the lots of the courses are there now even the python programming one of you are asking question where from you learn the python so you can learn the python from this website also career lifestyle hub but the cost of that uh, is very <coughs> high that is 5000 rupees but uh, you can get you can get the uh, today's Later, I will be showing you where from you start learning the Python very quickly. And if you want to learn from me, then what you need to do? Okay, so you have to go to Udemy. dot com because I am also available on Udemy. So what you have to search? You have to search for the Python programming mastery. python programming mastery so there should be space space between the programming and mastery python programming mastery you have to search this keyword after searching this keyword very first result is you can see here this is the my photo and you can get it actually price is the 4800 but today's offer is you can get this course in a Four fifty, four fifty-five rupees only. Okay, so those who wants to purchase, don't want to, or, or those who wants to uh, learn the Python in a very basic manner, then that can they can join this program, Python programming mastery. Okay, uh, so this is the thing that sir, I, yes, uh, sir. Uh, what is the difference between uh, Python and advanced Python program? Uh, Python is the language. I'm talking about the Python as a language. advanced python is the specific platform related like uh, if you want to learn the python for the machine learning then it is different if you want to learn the python for the open cv then it is different one okay so in advanced python you are going to learn the framework or you can think you can you can say that 
you are going to learn the libraries that you are uh, that you are going to use for that specific purpose okay so specific means advanced and generalized language means python programming are you getting this so very first step towards the suppose machine learning or open cv or even web programming then you have to learn the first python python as a language you have to learn then after that go for the advanced python now this is the our channel where you can get the updates now i am pasting this channel in the chat box you can join the channel and all the updates regarding to the programs you can get it there if you have the telegram or if you don't have telegram then also install the telegram and join the telegram okay and again this is the context now yes, the next one is the question and answer so any questions yes excuse me sir yes 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 chirag hello sir will we yes yes your voice is not audible chira sir will we this course chira ga aur vyavasthit yet nahi hai tujha sir matlab ye course karne ke liye matlab laptop zaruri hai kya phone pe nahi kar sakte uh actually a uh, phone pe bhi kar sakte hai most of the students are doing from from uh, phone but uh, the phone should phone ka jo uh, size hota hai na size thoda bada chahiye chote phone ke upar ye kaam nahi karta uh, but uh, i prefer the laptop or pc the laptop or pc hai to lekin kafi student kar rahe hai mobile ke upar bhi kar rahe hai lekin agar aapko agar uh, kar sakte ho kuch kyunki abhi uh, purane pc jitna zyada kuch uh, nahi aata price nahi hai zyada अगर पुराने पीसी अगर आप कोर टू डीओ अगर ये लेते हो ना कोर टू डीओ तो हार्डली द प्राइस इज फोर थाउजेंड टू फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ओनली ज्यादा से ज्यादा उतना हमें आई थ्री आई सेवन इतना कोई जरूरत नहीं है सो यू कैन गो फॉर परचेसिंग द सेकंड हैंड पीसी ऑल्सो और सेकंड हैंड लैपटॉप ऑल्सो सेकंड हैंड लैपटॉप भी ज्यादा का प्राइस नहीं होता जस्ट वन और टू आवर टू ईयर्स भी अगर आपका ये काम आता है तो भी ठीक है ओके सो बेटर टू परचेज द लैपटॉप और द कंप्यूटर आर्डिनो प्रोग्रामिंग सपोर्ट दी प्लस प्लस but okay. not so much deep concept required for the c++ just like uh, if you don't know exception handling if you don't know class then that is not so much required what is requirement how to write if else how to write while loop how to write for loop how to create a function how to create a variable that much of knowledge is enough for doing a arduino programming okay so ekdam simple simple agar aapne c++ ke pehle agar पांच छह दिन भी अगर आपने कर लिए ना तो दैट इज इनफ फॉर डूइंग अ सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग आर्डिनो प्रोग्रामिंग यस नहीं तो हम प्रोग्रामिंग में सबसे पहले हम क्या करते हैं प्रोग्रामिंग ही सिखाते हैं फर्स्ट टू और थ्री डेज एक्चुअली मेयरली वी विल फोकस ऑन द प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड देन आफ्टर दैट विल स्टार्ट विद द इंटरफेसिंग यस फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन दिस एडवांस प्रोग्राम देन यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट यू कैन टेक अ स्नैपशॉट ऑफ दिस actually you have the context of the sanjay saudhri sir also my context is also given uh, my name is ganesh uttarde i am also available on facebook or whatsapp this is my whatsapp number you can connect me to through the whatsapp also you can connect and uh, these are these are the group of companies uh, we are having we are collaborating for the training as well as for the product development we are collaborating to each other for training purpose also we are collaborating Uh, so you can contact to anyone sir yes sir can we make a virtual or a artificial neural network using arduino no it is a complex thing because for ann for artificial neural network actually you have to train you have to train the model first 
okay and for training purpose uh, what is required the requirement is the first processing power processing power but if you have the train model okay for train model and if you want to only detect then we can use the arduino okay dekho hame agar kuch naya sikhna hai na to arduino use nahi karega lekin already agar aapne sikha hai ki this is the cat this is the dog this is the pen this trained model agar aapke paas hai to then the only giving the output that arduino you can use but you have to take the help of the computer aapko computer ka help lena padega प्रोग्राम रन होगा कंप्यूटर के ऊपर बट द आउटपुट इज गिवन ऑन द आरडीनो बट आरडीनो इज नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ रनिंग द एएनएन मॉडल हेलो सर या सर आई हैड वन क्यूरी सिंस सम डेज या यस सर दैट माय मोबाइल हैड 12 जीबी रैम सर व्हिच इज हार्डवेयर बट आफ्टर वन अपडेट आई हैड वन फीचर दैट आई कैन कन्वर्ट माय रोम इनटू रैम Sir, uh, how can the, uh, sir, how can it implement and uh, how is it uh, effective than uh, hardware RAM? Hardware RAM. So actually, RAM is generally used. First, the first one is what is the use of RAM? RAM is generally used when you start your application. Okay. So if you are suppose uh, running your very high end game on your mobile, then generally it requires RAM. Okay. So, तो, आ, अगर आप गेम खेल रहे हो ना तो भी आपको रैम लगेगा लेकिन अगर सपोज इफ यू आर कन्वर्टिंग योर रॉम मेमरी एज अ रैम मेमरी देन इट इज ओनली यूजिंग दैट रॉम एज अ रैम ओनली वेन इफ द ट्वेल्व जीबी ऑफ रैम इज फुल ओके गेटिंग डबल इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर दैट इज कॉल्ड द वर्चुअल मेमरी ओके यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वर्चुअल मेमरी दैट वर्चुअल मेमरी इज बींग यूज ओनली वेन You are twelve GB actual RAM. Your physical RAM get over it get full. Then only that application will convert your raw memory as a RAM memory. Sir, what will be the duration to learn this program? Uh, it depending on actually the program that I have shown. Uh, the that the duration is only ten days. But uh, there are more advanced uh, uh, courses are also there. You can talk about the. Uh, talk to the Sanjay Chaudhary sir uh, regarding to that uh, advanced courses also. Okay, the more uh, actually uh, the total duration is regarding uh, related to the two two to three months. Sir, can you please repeat PC specification or laptop specification? Uh, core to DO is work. Core to DO. Core to DO is the minimum minimum specification that is available in the market now. Core to DO. minimum specification you can get the pc of the uh, core to do and the ram 2 gb is sufficient 2 gb ram is sufficient sir graphic card needed no 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 graphic cards okay sir. answer for autocad uh, for autocad for running the autocad or tinker cad yes sir tinker cad or autocad sir both No, auto or for auto for running the auto card, we require the minimum four GB of RAM. Two GB RAM also work, but four GB RAM के लिए आपको ज़्यादा speed मिलेगा and you require the some on chip अगर graphics होगा तो भी चलेगा. But again speed, it depends on the speed. Speed और आपका जो look and feel है that look and feel get affected if you don't have the graphics card. Okay, sir. Tinker card sir. don't require graphics card. Okay, sir. Yes, one question, Gayatri Gabhani, sir. Which programming language we have to learn first? First, C language. If you are very beginning in the programming, you have to learn first C language. If you learn the C language, then you can learn any language in the world. Any language you can in the world you can learn in a only five to ten days only. But that C language, that C language. Should be a very depth language. Okay, you should learn with the depth only. That is not only you can write the hello world program. You can write the addition of two, addition of two numbers like that. Uh, yes, there is one again question. Uh, yes, Priyanshu, is uh, is there any internship? Yes, internship is available. You can contact to Sanjay Saudri sir after after this program. Yes, Priyanshu. Shantanu Sakharis is sir. Do you know about the LED cube? Yes. 
yeah i have implemented shantanu actually i already implemented that 8 by 8 by 8 uh, led cube using the arduino nano yes it is open source uh, you can get the code uh, on the so on the github software. yes you can get the code on github uh, just you have to make some uh, modification some modification is needed for that code huh? it is as it is it is not working as it is okay maine bhi kiya tha i have also taken the help of that code because that is a very big program okay तो पूरा वो हमें पैटर्न के लिए हमें पूरा लिखना पड़ता है सो जस्ट यू हैव टू नीड सम टू और थ्री चेंजेस एंड दैट्स इट सो दैट्स व्हाई यू नीड अ प्रोग्रामिंग जो इंटरनेट के ऊपर प्रोग्राम होते हैं ना दैट प्रोग्राम दैट प्रोग्राम यू कैन नॉट रन इट एज इट इज देर इज वेरी स्मॉल चेंज इट इज वेरी नीडेड फॉर दैट प्रोग्राम फॉर रनिंग दैट प्रोग्राम वन चिराग से सर वन मिनट वन मिनट एक क्वेश्चन ले लेते हैं chat me say sir can we execute c language in yes chirag you can start uh, executing your c program on uh, phone there is one uh, app is there uh, called as a uh, is the name of the app c program uh, c language c compiler yes uh, ruturaj kon ta app hote the वीडियो on that how to use the c language on smartphone okay subscribe my channel you can get the video there okay okay, okay sir fine the other question is jivan jivan jadav sir it is live session or record yes it is live it is live but all the live session get recorded on all the recorded session you will get after this afterwards also so in case you if you miss your live session you can watch it later also Yes, Jivan. Ah, huh, yes. Who is asking question? Uh, sir, can I? Uh, where I will get? Yes, where you will get? Sir, code of LED cube. Ah, uh, yes. I ah uh, just uh, WhatsApp me. I'll be sharing the link with you after this. Ah, uh, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So this is my phone number. Just share my ah uh, share my phone number. Yes, Ruturaj has uh, share the link. of that uh, compiler gayatri yes i already answered your question which program language we have to use we have to learn first c language c language is must if you only know the c language then it is sufficient then it is sufficient you don't require the the different language c language is sufficient for the making us uh, embedded programmer and after c language python learning is very simple just join my udemy course join my udemy course the price is only 455 now it is offer is going on okay so you can join there for for 455 and you can learn that python very easily in a very easily manner okay i have actually implemented that course such that the any beginner who don't know anything regarding the programming they can start learning from there yes sir yes. hame c language bhi nahi aati fir bhi chalega kya ho kya uh no no but you require some basic concept of c language but what you can do you can take that course you can see that are you getting the syntax of that particular thing just like uh maine kya kiya wahan pe course mein i have given some references uh, in a c language like uh, in a c language this is there in a python this is there like if you want to create a variable in c language then we have to write down the data type in front of that variable like int c int i but in a python we don't have to declare the data type like only i is equal to 10 yes that's it i is integer okay that's type of the differences i have given i have mentioned in that so it is better if you have the knowledge of c language yes what about java we can do java also after c language you can directly do java don't go for c++ yes huh. Yes, don't go for C plus plus. In case if you are not from the 
computer background you can directly go from c to java you don't require c++ there you can jump from c to directly java there sir lekin uska basic to thoda lagta hai na yeah but in java you can you can revise na like object oriented programming that we needed okay what we need object programming uh, language uh, object oriented uh, concept now that concept you can learn in uh, and that is the theory concept but if you are learning c++ then java actually then the syntax actually you are making the uh, problems there like in a c++ to define the class what you are doing class file name uh, your class name and then after that colon and then some different syntax is there and java different syntax okay so you can uh, make uh, some confusion there so instead of that what you can do just procedure oriented language c object oriented language directly java if you are not from the computer background then only i am saying that okay if you are from electrical or electronic directly go from c to java or even java is also not required now the java has been preceded by the uh, uh, python python is the number one language you now yes uh, my yes, uh, this is the telegram link this is the telegram link the uh, just uh, cls telegram CLS represent career lifestyle hub. Yes, any question again? So, should we conclude? Yes, thank you, Rutu Raj. Yes, Rituraj, can you say two minutes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we have done implant training. We have done a lot of implant training. We have done a lot of Arduino programming. We have done a lot of basic Arduino programming. Yes. We have done a Wi-Fi module. We have done a lot of projects. We have done a lot of projects. We have done a lot of projects. We have done a lot of price distribution. We have done a lot of basic parts. We have done a lot of programming parts. Starting to basic. There is no knowledge that you have to do. It doesn't require any of this. And the project is very important for home automation. And stages wise. Like home automation, starting one disadvantage, one disadvantage. Implementation is correct. And this sir is also providing kit also. Sir, we also provide kit. And we also provide kit. And we also provide kit. That's right. That's right. भरपूर है फक्त करना रहा पाई जाए बस सो इफ यू वांट टू बी अ एक्सपर्ट इन एम्बेडेड देन यू कैन जॉइन दैट प्रोग्राम दैट इज़ द ओनली थिंग आई कैन डू एंड वी आर आल्सो मतलब आमी होम ऑटोमेशन से प्रोजेक्ट करता आमी होम ऑटोमेशन से प्रोजेक्ट फाइव टू सिक्स टेज़स में देखे लास्ट यूजिंग आईआर रिमोट नंतर Stages wise project. Stages wise. I mean, the disadvantage of the market is how it is. The market is how it is. The market is how it is. His ideas, sir, I used the contest, sir. I used the second runner-up. I used the second winner. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay. Okay, so we'll stop. And in case if you want to join, so just uh, connect with the Sanjay Saudri sir, and you will definitely get the very good uh, knowledge regarding to the embedded. Okay, programming la jala bhiti vata the cell, tanni ha program nakki join karaycha. Program sampala nantar mala sangaycha programming sopiega kathine. Okay. जहाँ प्रोग्राम जॉइन करना तो मार्क्स एक अच्छा कारण जाला प्रोग्रामिंग कठिन वाट्टे तला सगड़े सोपियतली सोपी प्रोग्रामिंग कसा करुँ दे इसा ते मला मार्क्स चैलेंजेस था ओके चलो थैंक यू थैंक यू सर
yes anyone thank you sir uh, want to give the feedback regarding to the lecture koni asel feedback okay so you can give the feedback yes uh, thank you shantanu thank you guys sir chan ho to lecture yeah thank you kai navin shikala betlo okay je programming cha pailanda aiklo mi asa yes detail madhe ekda ani tinker cad vaparun tumhala college madhe na jata tumhi sagle practical tumhi gharcha gari karu shakta ani ajun ek ki kasha chi todphon na karta kai kute short circuit hone cha kai ch karan nahi hai सगड सिम्युलेशन बेस्ट है फिर एक डिसेज है कि ऑनलाइन ओके ऑनलाइन ते फ्री है एक तुम्हें लक्षा गया ओके ऑनलाइन लक्षा मुझे फ्री है डेटा सुधा खूब कमी लगता तुम्हारे दीड जीबी मध्य तुम्हें खूब सार प्रोग्रामिंग करू शता थैंक यू राजरत्न थैंक यू कंचन थैंक यू सर यस थैंक यू चक्रधर गायत्री सौरभ थैंक यू ओके यस थैंक यू सलोमी यस सो आई एम अपलोडिंग आई एम अपलोडिंग दिस रेकॉर्डिंग आई एम अपलोडिंग दिस रेकॉर्डिंग इन केस इफ यू आर जॉइन द माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन आफ्टर दिस आल्सो एंड यू कैन शेयर दिस रेकॉर्डिंग टू युअर फ्रेंड्स आल्सो ओके सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो गेट बेनिफिटेड विथ दिस नॉलेज ओके सो थैंक यू जॉइन माय चैनल टेलीग्राम group uh, group also so that all the updates you can get it thank you thank you divya yes